And the last thing we are going to try to put in a balance are going to be mechanistic versus organic organizational structures. And I will try to begin with some theory. So really just focus on the words. So we are going to have some machine. So a machine. And then we are going to have some organism. So organism. Organism. So now we can continue and I will really bring a little bit of theory for the beginning so that the mechanistic organizational structures are made uh, to promote or to induce people to behave in predictable ways. So to behave, to behave in predictable ways, predictable ways or accountable we can say and on the other hand the organic organizational structures are made to promote flexibility so promote flexibility so that people uh, flexibility so that people can have some high responsiveness so high responsiveness responsiveness and I will I will try to again draw some small pictures of these our two companies. Uh, so we can begin. We have some tasks that are necessary to be done. So here we have five tasks, and here we have five tasks again. First thing that is going to be different is that in the mechanic or the our machine we are going to have some individual specialization. So we have individual individual specialization specialization nation so that we have some our five or we have yeah we can say we have five employees so one two three four five and every is individually uh, specialized for one task so here are our employees employees and here are our tasks and on the other hand, in organic structure, we are going to have a joint specialization. So, joint specialization, specialization. And again, we are going to have five employees. So, one, two, three, four, and five employees, employees. And then they are going to be attached with some some joint or, or jointly so that these guy is going to solve this task and this task and maybe also this one but he's going to have help with this one and this one and they are as you see the the uh, guys are working maybe in some teams for the different tasks so that the picture looks a little bit messy like this and that is the joint specialization so that employees work together and coordinate so we can we can write this word so that they coordinate so coordinate but then the result or the outcome is a bit unpredictable right so so that can be the advantage of the mechanistic company that we can predict much better the outcome we can move uh, to second important point which is the centralization in mechanistic companies so centralization centralization so that the authority and the hierarchy is clearly defined so we have maybe some some manager so here is our manager and we have another manager for these two guys and that they have some top manager so here is top manager so here is managers and here is top manager so that the the um, task or the uh, decision making is clearly moved up here at first we have employees and then they move up to manager and finally to top manager and on the other hand uh, we are going to have uh, decentralization so that the authority and the control tasks are uh, divided to managers or to employees on all the levels so here we have decentralization decentralization and if I should finish the picture I, I again have maybe just one one manager 
one manager and maybe there is some territory manager for for many of these managers so here is our manager manager so that maybe some of these employees have maybe some right or some responsibility for making the decisions about their projects so this was another difference and the last important difference is going to be the standardization in mechanistic companies so standardization so that we are going to have some specific rules in these companies so we have a lot of rules and it is quite intuitive right because uh, all of these employees are supposed to uh, really solve all the issues that are necessary to be done at every task so they really need to have some rules that will lead them to the solution whereas on the other hand in an organic company we will have some mutual adjustments so mutual adjustment adjustment and and maybe uh, the last thing that I would mention, but from my point of view it is not that important, is that in a mechanistic company we will have some simple integrated mechanisms. So simple, simple integrating mechanism, mechanisms. Whereas uh, in organic, and I will I will just uh, write it down and then I will explain it. We have really complex or some uh, really complicated. So we can say complex, complex integrating mechanisms. So what is the difference? Well, the, there are decisions between these managers uh, or these employees who are working together. So we really have to create maybe some communication. Tools. So communication tools or maybe you have to organize a party for uh, them every month so they meet and share their values and their opinions so this was the basic difference between the mechanistic and organizational structures and in the next videos I will introduce you to model or to idea of how the company should try to choose between these two according to the environment that is surrounding it so hopefully 